Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bandicast of Repentance. In the previous episode, we played as the tainted version of Lazarus and it was a very good run. Unfortunately, we didn't get any unlocks for Lazarus. We did beat Mum's heart, but nothing more. Uh, just, it was, he's, he's hard. You have to balance HP and items between t two characters that you play as in alternating rooms. It's very, very weird, but very, very strange. But this time, we're going to jump in as the Lost. As you can see, I've been playing the Lost a good amount. Um, I... Uh, this this character is insanely hard and it took me probably like th probably about 20 hours to get the post-it notes that you can see there I've still got like delirium to do mega Satan um, the lamb and what else have I got going on? Um, I don't know. Let, let's let's just uh, flip over and see what else we've got going on uh, so we've got to do Mega Satan. We've also got to do Mother. So a lot, a lot, and a lot of hard stuff here. Anyways, we're going to jump in as him. And I will warn you before we jump in that I will be holding R to get a good start because this character requires it. But uh, this Lost is very interesting. So first thing you're going to notice, I'll just I'll just show. Let's see what item is first. Uh, Explosive. I definitely don't want that. Um, this guy has, as you'll see in just a second, no Holy Mantle. He dies in one hit. No matter what, but he starts with a single holy card, which gives you, it's, it's, it's been changed, it used to be holy mantle for one room. Now it gives you one holy ma mantle charge until you next get hit for the entire run. So as long as you don't get hit, you keep it. Um, and uh, another modified ability is he has a higher chance of finding more holy cards. And it's not a lot higher, but it's higher than normal. You can definitely tell, but you don't, it's not like you get tons of them. Sometimes you don't get any. Uh, and also, he has the ability to not get low quality items. He always gets uh, items of quality two or above, which is real good. Because your runs end up being like kind of amazing. Oh my god, we got the D1. We got the D1. It's time, boys. It's time. Drop the holy card. Duplicate the holy card. Use the holy card. Hold the holy card. D1 is Banon, the best item that you can get as the Lost. Banon. It is the best. Okay, this is a hard room. Okay, we should be okay. Um, yeah, it is one of the best you can possibly get. So let's just hope that we don't lose our current uh, holy mantle early. This is a real terrible room, by the way. I will lose my holy mantle in this room if I'm not careful. This is a really, really terrible room. These enemies are so difficult now. A shot speed is insane. And they can hit you from off screen real easily. So we're going to be going for the angled shots as I'm doing right now. If I could hit them, that would be nice. There you go. Okay, once there's one left, that's actually fine. We should be okay here. Uh, but yeah, so this guy, he gets gets um, he gets free Deal of the Devils as well. He can take one Deal of the Devil for free, just like the normal Lost. Um, but we're probably going to go for Angel Deals here because I'd like to do Mega Satan and the Lamb. That's kind of my goal this time around. We will bomb this because we could get Small Rock. We didn't. Of course, Soul Hearts do nothing for this guy. But yes, D1 is insanely good for us. Insanely good. Um, so we always want to make sure we have that going on. Right, so we'll, again, we'll pick that up. We'll do this. We'll duplicate it, pick up another one, and then we've got an extra one there. So if we can get the ability to hold extra cards, that would also be fantastic. Because like I said, holy cards are, uh, they're not super common. They're, they're pretty rare. Even even with the increased chance, they're still not common. Uh, so let's hope that we can keep it going. But like I said, the D1, oh no. Okay, this is terrible. This is super terrible. Thank you. That's brilliant. I might even do that to the second one as well, I have to say. Yeah. That boss is awful. I will tell you that now. That boss is really, really hard. Um, okay, so... I mean, I might as well take this. And let's see what a card is. Of course, we don't want to take the card. But anyways, let's go down. We've got a holy card. Got to remember to duplicate it on this floor as well. So we got to do two rooms without without the ability to have one yet. Also, we always get into boss trap rooms, which is nice. Don't really care too much for a speed upgrade. Speed's nice, but I want to go for things that actually matter. Okay, trites are the worst. Trites are run killers, so you need to kill those immediately. They can jump across the room in an instant and destroy you. Um, very much do not like them. Okay, just remember as well, whether lost, we can fly, we can shoot over rocks. And also, this guy starts with elevated stats too. So for the most part, the early floor should be relatively easy. So let's drop our holy cards. Uh, duplicate it. Pick one up. But yeah, as you can see, D1, one of the best items you can possibly start with. Um, we're going to go for Sinus Infection here, because obviously we don't want to shoot the whoop. Sinus Infection, also very, very good. Very nice to have. Um, these enemies shouldn't be too bad. Depends. Sometimes when they rearrange, they can go, uh, go a bit wild, as you can see. 
but fine. We keep going. Okay, there's certain rooms, by the way, that, that will guaranteed hit our holy card. Like, there is a few rooms in the game, especially in the dank depths and, like, Necro uh, 1 and 2, that are real fucking hard. We saw one of them in the previous episode, got a bunch of spiders in it and stuff, and it's just not, it's not good. It's real hard. Uh, so we're probably going to go for angel deals, like I said, see if we can get some cool angel stuff going on. Um, mainly to fight the, uh, the, the angels, but we'll see. Yeah. Gotta be real careful in here. We don't want to lose our holy card for no reason. Ooh, slick. Oh, it's difficult. Yeah. These guys bounce around quite a lot, so they can they can be kind of tricky and run into you. Ah, yes. Room reward troll bombs. Lovely. We'll open this up. Nice amount of stuff. Makes our shop a little more valuable once we find it. Yeah, sinus infection here is going to be incredible for bosses as well. Also, remember, like I said, we, we can fly over rocks, shoot over rocks. So if we, if we feel unsafe, just sit over the top of some rocks and we'll be fine. Right. Let's take a little look here. We got this guy. Cool, cool. D1's ready again. We don't want to use it yet, though. We want to save this for the next floor. Mama Mega's real good. This is very, very good for us. Um, In fact... I kind of want to pick up Mama Mega... Um, and just carry it with us for, like, later flaws. Quickly grab all of this. Yeah, let's let's grab Mama Mega. And just hold it for later. We don't want to use it yet. Uh, and then let's go fight our boss. This dingle shouldn't be too hard. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. So we, we've got to pop our holy card, unfortunately. We do have another one. Lying in waits for us. So as you can see, some, some enemies just, they just hit you when you don't expect it. So now we've got to go back. Uh, first of all, we're, like I said, we're going to leave this. Card pack will almost guaranteed, yeah. So like I said, you get an elevated chance of holy cards. So th things like the booster pack give you a really good chance of getting the, um, getting a holy card. We don't really care about any of these apart from maybe the world. Um, and we'll take this holy card and I'm going to go get my secret room real quick because it could have items in it. you got to check it. See what we get. See what we get. And of course, we've got a holy card left here, but that doesn't matter. But yeah, having the, the school bag here is super valuable. Being able to hold the D1 and another active is very important. I don't know if this is... A, is this worth picking up? I really don't know. Like, it's so good. I think we have to. I think we have to. Like, it's so good, but it is it is risky because it's an explosive, and we don't have explosive immunity, so... It does also ruin a sinus, sinus infection, but it's a super rare item, and I think we have to. <laughs> I think we have to. Uh, right, we've got a holy card. We are good to go. Down we go. And we drop our holy card once again. We do that. Make sure not to use Mama Mega by accident. We duplicate it. We've already used a holy card, so as you can see, we've got this glow around us. That's the holy card in action. You can grab that again. Okay, so basically, what this allows us to do, which is great, is sit over rocks and pits and hurt things. What it's problematic for is enemies that chase us down, especially if we get cornered over rocks, are going to be very, very hard to kill. But for the most part, this should be very good. And it's a very good item in general, obviously. It's an item that I haven't seen in a long time, too. So, very cool to see it. Yeah, but enemies like this that get real close to us, we've got to be very careful of. Enemies like that are bad, too. Okay, good. Found our secret room. Also, we're going to go and... Um, actually, let's just drop another one here. Why not? We're going to D1 this again because we have extra D1 charges. Always make sure you're holding at least one holy card, though. Always weird, like, destroying poops with uh, with this thing. Very difficult. Actually, that's, that's better than what we've got going on right now. Sometimes we'll get an extra penny. So, yeah, essentially, it, it all comes down to us for us assessing the room and how best to play it with Epic Fetus. Sometimes it's going to be super easy and obvious. Other times it's really not going to be. 
it just comes down to how quickly we can we can suss things out getting something like the stopwatch would be fantastic something that gives us extra time to think and react so we definitely want to be picking up as much money as we can and trying to go for something like that also these enemies are uh, are horrible i hate them oh my god okay this is probably better because we're not always going to be using the D1. So getting the stats up from that is going to be very valuable. Stand back here. That. But this is this is one of the rooms I was talking about where it's difficult when enemies chase you down. You've really got to get positioning right and everything. Good. Okay, so this is another one we've got to be careful of. This thing spawns things when it dies. So we got to be aware of that. Take out the explosive do first. Still haven't been to our item room yet. I'd very much like to do so. And believe, yeah, this is an XL floor as well. So we do have two item rooms. Explosions from mushrooms. Again, another thing we want to be really, really vigilant of. Uh, I actually think that we should do, do, do another duplication of our holy card here. Just get another holy card on the floor. Right. Rotten Baby is absolutely fine for us. I like that. Rooms like this can be pretty treacherous, especially if we've got the cross shooting guys. But luckily, these are the straight shooting ones. Much easier for us. Rooms like this are real bad. These enemies can can hit you without without you noticing at all. Uh, restock, Mr. Me. Okay, we've not got anything really worthwhile here. Um, restock is fine, but... For the most part, it's not going to matter, especially with the D1. Restock would be nice if we didn't have the D1 for trying to buy the shop out and just get a bunch of different cards and hopefully getting a holy card. But for the most part, we're not going to care. That's pretty good. Does Mr. Mega... I have to check this. Mr. Mega... Does Mr. Mega affect Epic Fears? Um... It doesn't have any synergies on it. Um, go to the Epic Fetus page and check that. Synergies with... Mr. Mist okay. Uh, interactions. Okay. Epic Fetus explosions are not affected by any of these. That's fine. I kind of expected that to be fair. Uh, that's That's completely fine by me. I'm going to go and do a few extra rooms here because we have a few holy cards around. Um, so I think it's worthwhile. Just to get our D1 back ready for next floor. I want to be able to use the D1 on the very starting room of next floor. It is risky doing this, of course, because there's a few rooms that could really hurt us. And also, I wanted my stout-ups too. Let's go. Uh, we're looking for Angel Deal this time, obviously. And let's see what boss we end up getting. Again, it's all going to be about us dodging and staying out of the way. We do have two bosses here. This is another boss that can really mess us up. Because, of course, he does that, like, super speed jump. And that, too. There's some bad stuff here for us. He also spawned a red poop in a really bad place. Is that red poop going to regenerate or is it gone? Okay, it's gone. Good. So, we, got, we get that. It's kind of nice. Take these fellas out first, I think, is the best play. Anything that shoots at us, we want to get rid of. Good. We got him gone. And you as well. No angel deal, but here's perfection. So we're going to grab perfection instead. Uh, perfection is great. It is a trinket that you get for flawlessing three bosses in a row, which of course, as the lost, you always do. Um, and what it does is it gives you plus 10 luck until you get hit, which as the lost, again, you can't get hit. And holy mantle does not count. So we have plus 10 luck for the rest of the run. Now, there is one caveat to this, one big issue that we've really, really got to stay vigilant of. This increases the spawn of chests on room clears, which is great. But it does not decrease the chance that those chests are a trapped chest. Trapped chests are real bad for us. We didn't actually need to drop our card there. I don't know why I did that. Uh, but that, that's that's some good stuff. Um, we've got a good amount of holy cards on this floor already. Yeah, these guys obviously don't really do anything to us. we got a golden bomb there. That's rather nice. Especially with Mr. Mega. 
Okay, we gotta be very vigilant of the trap chest. Luckily, we do have um, we do have a pretty hard counter with the amount of holy cards we're getting. Two trapped chests, but even still, we have to be very vigilant of them. We don't want to lose we don't want to lose our, our holy card um, invincibility for no re like no good reason. Good stuff. This is a very good run so far. This right here is a very very bad room for us. This guy, this dude can telefrag us so easily. This boss. And he also pops up and down quite rapidly, which means it's quite hard to hit with the setup we've currently got going on. We, we got him. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Yes, he's almost dead. He is dead. Cool. Troll bombs from these are also a big problem. Mind out for them. Okay, for a few. Pop into the shop. We got another holy card. I don't think flashlight is, is worth taking. Simply because flashlight is going to be problematic with slowing down some shots, but not others. I think for the most part, it's probably just going to get us hit. So I'm not going to take that. Still just looking for iron room here. here. You might be wondering when I'm going to use Mama Mega. I'm not actually sure yet. I'm not 100% I'm not certain when we're going to use it. Uh, basically... Whenever we get to the point where we feel like it's going to be kind of hard to survive on a floor, I might use it. I might use it like the uh, cathedral or something. Depending, it kind of depends as well on if we find another good space bar item. We might want to use it a bit earlier. But this room is real bad for us. But luckily, we we've got the damage. Rotten baby here is also great for us because we can deal damage while we're not uh, like while we're aiming at our rockets. Brown nugget unfortunately does not cut it. Actually, an okay item now. It got it got buffed a bit, but still, it's not going to cut it for me. Um, let's go do our boss. This is um, this isn't mum. I thought it was actually. This isn't mum. So let's go. Um, we've got a holy card and tur. We've got this going on. Okay, this is another hard boss. We should be okay. Just be careful of the mask chasing us down. But obviously, we can hit the mask very easily here, so that's not a problem. Here's our first angel room. I think it's our first angel room, right? Is it our first angel room? It must be. What else would we have gotten? We'll grab that. It gives us extra luck and some keys. We've got to fight our angel statue in here, remember. Um, oh, we got revelation. We could have taken the Eucharist here, but revelation so much better. Oh, wait. No, it's not. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It's actually not. Because we're going to be we're gonna be not really using it too much. We can still use it a bit, but it's not its not as valuable as, as, it, as it would have otherwise been. Tears up is nice. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed that I took Revelation. Revelation is still very, very good. But we, we lose out on a few of the aspects of it because we don't really charge up that often, apart from certain bosses like Me uh, Mega Certain. It's going to be good on Mega Certain, definitely. Daz Lost Coin ain't worth it. But like, there's going to be some other places. I think the Eucharist probably would have been better to guarantee Angel deals. But you'll live and you'll learn. It's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm doing stupids. I'm doing stupids. I forgot to duplicate my holy card. Don't ever forget to do that. Big no-no. Make sure we duplicate our holy card whenever possible. you got to have one of those spare in reserve. Right, so this is our mum fight. So this is a hard floor. This is a hard room. So we, we're relying on Rotten Baby here to do a bit of extra damage for us. We're also just relying on uh, those guys to not charge us down. Yeah, Revelation here, very good item. Not very good for our current situation. Not very good for our current situation. Like I said, it might end up being very, very good against Mega Satan. So that's fine. But as you can see, we have to charge it all the way up like this. And it's not really going to be good unless it's a stationary enemy that's like Mega. So this is this is another really hard room. Luckily, Rotten Baby helped us there, but rooms like that are very, very difficult for us. I'm going to drop another Holy card here. Actually, bad place to drop it. D1 could duplicate that heart. Let's just go and uh, and go and duplicate the original. There you go. Would be a bad place to drop it. But yeah, D1 is definitely the, the biggest game break that I can think of with... Um, with we'll remember that's there, but we don't need it right now. 
Um, that was really stupid. I should not have broken that rock. Uh, yeah, D1 is like the biggest game break that I can think of off the top of my head that's really fucking good with, um, with Alt Lost. As you can see, we're about to get hit. Nope, we're good, we're good. Yeah, it's it's the biggest game break with uh, with it because you can just get like unlimited holy cards, which is of course amazing. Okay, we have two rerolls this floor. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Sorry, fella. Didn't have to be this way, although it kind of did. Got you as well. Extra key. Thank you. Thank you. We just gotta take our time. Be patient. Be cautious. Um. Unfortunately, shop's not great. I might actually do some re-rolling in our shop because I really... Okay, this is a room that we get hit in. Oh, nope, we might be okay. Um, We want to be trying to get stopwatch. So I'd, I'd maybe rather re-roll our shop than anything else. So these enemies, we really got to get before they charge us down. Otherwise, they become a major issue for us. Great. Still haven't found our item room yet. Of course, if the item room is super trash, we might want to re-roll that instead. But as I said... You don't really get super low quality items. Like, the lowest quality item you can really get is things like Mum's Bra and stuff. So it's not terrible. Oh, I just kind of walked through that room without even thinking. Okay, so here we got Ice Baby. Honestly, I'm just going to take it. Ice Baby's great. Right, let's uh, let's go and do some shop re-rolling. Got to remember to come back and get our holy cards. Be very careful in that room. We, if we get hit in that room while we don't have our holy card, I will be upset. We could, in fact, use D1 to get some extra rerolls. So, Dice Shard. See what this is. Anzus. I'm going to use the Anzus. Okay. We go back. We grab our Perthro. I realize I could be saving these for rerolling other things, but I need to hold a holy card, so I have to use them this floor. Mum's bracelet. Unfortunately, nothing great there. I I, I could have d would and got some more rerolls there, but honestly, it's a little bit too risky in my books. Okay, we're good. We've got our holy card back. We've found our secret room here. Now, this is a room that I do not like the look of. There's a holy card used. Okay, so now we've got a we've got a user holy card here, so we use that one. And we go back for the duplicated ones. Oh, and we say our prayers that we have a duplicated one. My god. Very scary. But as you can see, we're taking our time here, definitely. Definitely make, making sure to be slow and cautious. God damn, if those things hit me, I'd cry. Especially considering my holy cards are all the way over there. So I'm actually just going to play it a little bit safe. Actually, we're on the mum fight. I, I can't play it safe. I was going to make another holy card outside here, but we, we literally can't. There's no point. We can't get back here. Um, ooh, this is not what I wanted at all. Freezer baby, though. Thank you. Lots of money. Not great for us right now, but I'll take it. Okay, right. It's mum time. Mum can be a hard fight. Okay, nice. Got a bit of extra damage on her there. Make sure we're taking care of the harder enemies. Freezer Baby's going to really help out with some of these harder enemies here as well, which is real nice. Make sure we don't get hit by the hands or the foot. The hands are actually a really big deal now. They never used to be, but now they actually slap from quite a distance. Nice one. Gotta get the timing on this just right. Okay, holy card. I am dumb. I am super dumb. I am super, super dumb. I've just fucking fucked up this run so hard. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I just fucked up this run real hard. Monstrance is great here. We'll take that. But you may, be, you may be wondering, what have I just done? I used my holy card, remembering that I duped holy cards already. But then I remembered, I can't get back there now. So I am literally stuck with no holy card now, which is, of course, terrible. So now I have to rely on finding another holy card to D1. 
to make this run work, which is real upsetting. <laughs> um, I Does Mama Mega let you go back? If it does, I will use it here. Um, let's go and check. Mama... Mama Mega. Uh, destroys all obstacles machines in the current room. Destroys all obstacles. Um, he's in a room that have already been cleared. Oh, this is bad. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't open the door. We are we are in a little bit of a screwy position here, unfortunately. Um, little bit of a screwy position. Right. Let's uh. Let's go down. This is unfortunate. I have I have put us in a bad position. I panicked. I didn't think I was going to get hit, and I did, and I just panicked. It was bad. What the hell is this room? Ah, it's just Pin. Pin's fine. I can deal with Pin. Okay, so we're really banking on finding a new holy card real soon. Like, we have to find one before we get hit, ideally. Also, these enemies can suck a butt, because they're the worst. This is going to be a room that we get hit in. Yep. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Okay, this run is probably doomed now. We don't, have a, we don't even have Holy Mantle on. Oh, upsetting. A run that could have been so good. Spoilt by my own idiocy. You gotta be careful when you're playing as Alt Lost though. It's so easy for things to go wrong. This this um this room here could save us. I don't know what's going on over there, but I don't care. Right. Come on, save us. <sighs> Sometimes this room has cards in it. I think... I think what we should do right now is pop Mama Mega, which I know seems weird, but then take this. Then we take this as safety. And if we get into a room that we don't like the look of, we just go for it. We almost got hit by that red poop there. That would have been a super upsetting death. <sighs> Data miner, no thank you. This is a hard room. I do not like this. Oh my god. The amount that I balked this, this run is, is upsetting. It's the fact that I only realized after the fact as well. So stupid of me. Such an obvious fucking mistake. And I'm sure all of you were cringing as I did it. Also, Mama Mega could kill us, by the way. There is a chance that Mama Mega kills us. Oh, there's a card, but it's... It ain't no holy card. We can get holy cards from golden chests as well. Um, so that's kind of another avenue, but we're getting not many of those at the minute. We're getting mainly brown chests. Which I believe can't give holy cards. Okay, we've got to try this. We've got to try this, right? So I think we pop Magician. Which I don't actually think does anything with this. We pop these, see what we get. We do holy card. Uh, not holy card, um, base bar. Oh, wait, no, Herming does work on this. It's just very strange. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Pin? Multiple pins. That is a trap chest. Don't even, don't even tempt me. Yes, we got a holy card. Right, so now we... Oh, I just I just did something really stupid again. I need to stop. I, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I just did something really dumb again. 
I just used my fucking D1 without duplicating it. You watch me die while trying to get this thing fucking charged up now. Oh my god, why did I do that? I've, I'm so gonna die now. I know it for a fact that I'm gonna die now. I, I don't know why I thought of doing that. I just pressed space, I panicked. This is so stressful. Right, so I need to press space when I get into a room here. You watch, this next room will be the boss and I'll have to fight the boss without a holy card. Yep, it will be. Guaranteed. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Okay, right. Get out of this room. Right. Drop the holy card. Duplicate the holy card. Use the holy card. Holy fucking shit, am I stressed as all balls. Definitely going to use our invincibility here. Oh my god. Right. Pick up that, it's a speed upgrade, why not? We've got our key, so we don't need to fight the angel. But the game says otherwise. And we lost our holy card. We have to we have to finish this guy without using our holy card here. Why? Why, Mama Mega? Why do you have to do this to me? Now I've got to complete a room on the next floor without a holy card. Again! <laughs> this is so stressful. If I die on this room, I will actually cry. No battery in this room. Okay, good. Right, so now we drop the holy card. Dupe the holy card. Use the holy card. Hold the holy card. Fucking hell. <laughs> the stress levels are insane. I lost it again straight away. Now I've got to do a bunch more rooms without it again. Yeah, this is a room that I 100% had to use Book of Shadows for. <sighs> right. Drop the holy card. Dupe the holy card. Use the holy card. Hold the holy card. We are going to be hearing that sentence quite a bit. What the? F oh, I got hit again. The fuck are these evil rooms? I have to do the same thing again now. Why did I, why did I even come in this room? Okay, it was fine, it was fine. Right, drop the holy card. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta make sure I can pick everything else up in this room. Do not duplicate anything else. In fact, I'm gonna play it safe. I can't even go to a room that doesn't have anything else in it. So I'm gonna have to, I, it might dupe this empty chest. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Dupe, good. Use holy card, grab holy card. Holy fuck, this run would be so over by now if I didn't have D1. I am fucking up so bad. It's hard, man. <laughs> it's hard. Definitely want to use my space bar in here because this room sucks. Oh, oh, spike chests. Spike chests. Not spike chests. Spiked rocks are my, my, my kryptonite. I've been killed by them many a time. Right, so. I think we want to... Do we want to dupe another holy card here? I think we do, just so we have another one left at the end. So let's go. Do that. Drop this. Dupe that. Grab it. We don't need to use that one, though. We're fine. And then we can use our, uh, our perfect little book of shadows here to get some stuff done. Okay. 
Sadly, Book of Shadows isn't going to be super useful for us, but we got him nonetheless. We got another Angel deal. Great. We're going down, remember? Dead Sea Scrolls don't care. Right. This is the most stressed I've ever been in my life. God damn. Oh shit, I didn't realize these guys shoot when they die. Okay. Oh no, laser ghosts have already killed like three of my runs. They telefrag you and then they fucking fire a brimstone at you. It's the worst. Okay. Diddy battery. So, go in this room. Go in this room. Do poorly card. Hold holy card. Grab that. Diddy battery charge. Should be fine on this room. Where are you? There you are. My good lord. Okay, this guy, this guy will definitely hit us. Oh my god, we actually didn't get hit. That's crazy. Those guys are so hard to not get hit by. Okay, this is a room that I love. Because these guys can easily hit you as the lost. Little whippy tongue fucks. Just because of how I was stood there, I knew I was going to get hit if I didn't pop that. Okay, I hate this room with a passion. Yep, there goes a holy card. I have to wait until the ghost pops up in a good position for me. God damn it, you stupid ghost fuck. Oh. Oh my god. You can have everything going for you. And all it takes is one bullshit room. All it takes is one bullshit room. And you're dead. Oh, there you go. That's all lost, people. The stress that I have gone through to get my other post-it notes. That was a run that was very plausible to kill Megaton. And, like, I, I wouldn't say incredibly because it would still be very, very difficult. But it would still be plausible. Unfortunately, that room, those turrets, I cannot believe they stayed in the game of Repentance. <laughs> Everyone was so against them when they got added. And it's just, they're the worst. Every room they're in just sucks ass. And they are, uh, they are probably, like, a top five lost killer for me. The any, not, Maybe not them directly, but the rooms that they're in always cause me problems. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.